What's going on guys? My name is Mad Arms Sports Talk and welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. Today I decided to sit down and do a 30 minute video, probably will be about that long. What we're going to do here is we're on level 20 right now, we have 26,000 HXP. I was going to say HP, we're not that OP. HP, XP, OP. Um, 26,000 XP right now. I'm going to try to see if we can get to 50,000 XP from just evolutions. I have not evolved a single Pokemon yet in this game. All I've done is wait to get as many candies as I can for each Pokemon. I believe there's 15 or so new evolutions I can do right now. If you go to my Pokedex right here, you can see that we have 115 seen, which is an awesome number, by the way, um, and 114 caught. I actually decided not to catch, I think it was a Poliwhirl, yeah. Saw a Poliwhirl yesterday, decided not to catch it because I simply wanted to do the upgrade uh, or the evolutions to that as well in this video. So without further ado, we're going to see how much XP we can get right now. We're going to go hard and start off by popping that lucky egg. We have 21 of them. We have quite a few of those guys. But there you go. Timer is starting now. We have 30 minutes to do as many of these as we can. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to show you guys the method here to getting higher XP. You can rank up super quick with this method. Um, the first one I want to show you guys is Pidgey, okay? You see right here, I have a lot of freaking Pidgeys. 177 Pidgey candy. And instead of going to Pidgeotto and Pidgeot, which I already have in my Pokedex, we can go back here and show you guys real quick. We already have those in the Pokedex right here. You can see we have all three evolutions. So there's no point in really getting those to unlock those as my new Pokemon that I've caught. So the point here is what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Pokemon. We're going to go back to Pidgeotto or Pidgey rather. And we're simply going to evolve one Pidgey at a time. That's it. We're not going to go all the way to Pidgeot. There's no point. That's extra candy that we're going to waste. Pidgeys are super easy to come by in this game. So what I like to do is pick them up. If they're easy ones, I pick them up. If they're more high uh, CP and they're going to take more balls, more balls, then we're going to forget about them. But simply all we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and evolve Pidgeys to Pidgeotto's. 12 of them I think we have right now. Doesn't matter what level they are, we're gonna scratch them anyway. The point is you get a certain amount of XP right here. You can see we get 1,000 XP per time we ever lose. We evolve, evolve. What the heck is an evolve? Um, we evolve and there you go with the double XP bonus. It's 1,000 instead of 500. So we're gonna go ahead and do all these all in a row and hopefully we can get them done quick enough to get this all done. But that's 1,000 XP. I'll keep a little tally marker in the bottom corner of the screen so you guys can see how much XP we're actually earning here. This is gonna be kind of boring so I might speed through this part right here until we get the good stuff. You know what? We're gonna start with the good stuff. That's a better way to do this. But this is the point here. If you have anything like Rattatas or Pidgeys or anything that are really low level, easy to catch, easy to come by, that you can upgrade in only 12 candies, absolutely do it because it's the best way with lucky eggs to get a, a lot, a lot of XP. This is the one I was really excited for here, the Bulbasaur 528, I believe it, either 582 or 528. I couldn't read it there quick enough. But this one, if we can get to like an 800, 900, this might be a ball or Venusaur. We'll see what happens here. Hopefully the Ivysaur, which we already have as well, is super high level. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Mmm. Because I almost maxed out that Bulbasaur. Um, I had it. I caught it really high as well. 830. Okay. That's not too shabby for an Ivysaur. We're going to start that one so I make sure I don't delete it. That is a beast of nature. It'll be a really, really well uh, high level Venusaur. So we can get rid of this Ivysaur right here. We're going to go ahead and transfer that one in. Uh, it's over here now. I keep forgetting that. This update's really weird. I'm not sure I love it. Um, Squirtle, we can do those as well. Yes, we're going to go ahead and do this Squirtle here. We're going to evolve. And we obviously already have a War Turtle, but this Squirtle will be a lot better than the ones we have. The War Turtles we have are crap. Blastoise we have is also crap. Very low level for uh, catching it in the wild, unfortunately. So hopefully we can evolve to a better Blastoise. This one here hopefully will be around, you know, maybe six, 700 CP. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll see what happens. It's going to be 541. Oh, that is trash. We're going to go ahead and transfer this one away here. That one's, I don't even know if I can keep that war turtle. That's pretty trash anyway. Bubble Butt's pretty good. Uh, Caterpie, we already have those upgraded uh, or evolved all the way to Butterfree. But we're going to evolve these anyway just so we get that extra XP. Similar to the Pidgeys, they're going to just be quick ones. There are no new Pokemon in the Pokedex. Um, and they don't really matter because Butterfree's, you're not going to go into a battle with Butterfree. You're not going to put a Butterfree in a gym. Um, the heck you doing out there shut up i'm trying to film a video over here metapod no one cares about you we'll do those ones later on as well weedle here we haven't got these um these evolutions yet so i'm gonna go and do these because these will be new evolutions and new evolutions are actually double so a new evolution will be a thousand xp with the lucky egg will be two thousand xp so that's gonna add that up really quickly for us and we'll make sure we get those done before we run out of lucky egg time in fact, I can just keep using more Lucky Eggs because I have a bunch of them. But this is a new evolution. I do not have this Pokemon yet. This will be a new addition to the Pokedex, as you can see right there. Bam! We got them. And we're going to get the Beedrill as well here. We got the Kakuna. 
and we're gonna go and take that Kakuna and we're gonna go and say BAM evolve again it's not gonna be very high level but again these are Pokemon that you're probably not gonna bring to the gym because they're pretty low level anyway uh, but these are Pokemon that are gonna get you a lot of XP these are the ones that can really boost you up into the higher levels where you're gonna be able to catch higher level Pokemon and that's the important part here that's the important note to take down Beedrill you are in our Pokedex Hello, welcome to the team. That is another one. We are now at 116, I believe. Uh, 640 Beedrill is pretty crap, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Pidgeys, we'll get back to you guys. Rattatas, we already have as well. We'll get back to those later on because those are boring. We don't have a uh, Firo yet, so we're going to go and do the Firo. Spirit of Firo, that's a new evolution that'll give us 2,000 XP here. Um, and this... This, Spearows are actually not as frequently found as I thought they'd be. Pidgeys are all over the freaking place. Those things are like... Do I really need another Pidgey? And the answer is yes, if you want to get a lot of XP. But, they're everywhere. Spearows, not as much. Um, and there you go, we have our first Fero. I've seen a couple Feroes, decided not to catch them. Obviously, I was waiting to save them for this video. Not high level again, unfortunately. Ekans, we already got Noah Snake 456 in there, so we're not gonna do that. Pikachu, we don't have a Raichu. Pikachu's 418, he's almost all the way as max as he can be. Uh, so maybe, just maybe we'll get a, a Raichu that's a thousand plus. I'm hopeful, doubtful. I haven't seen any, anyone really use Raichus anywhere. In fact, I've never seen one in a gym. Um, in fact, I've never seen one ever until just now now I've seen one um, in this game anyway obviously I've seen him in Pokemon uh, the originals but there we go another Pokemon add to the Pokedex cute looking little guy for sure what level a thousand five okay that's not bad we'll start that we'll keep that guy that's not bad we can also power him up here you know what let's go for it why not YOLO swag 132 or 1032 that's pretty good that's pretty solid uh, we'll take that and we'll call it a day there um, we'll do these guys as well because I have enough I don't I just don't I choked I totally choked right there I should have went to a uh, Nidoqueen. Queen well actually it's not true because I already have a Nidoqueen, Queen but these guys are gonna be hopefully higher level we'll see what this one comes out as um, if it's higher than like 700 or so it'll be worth going to a Nidoqueen Queen with uh, although I don't have enough candies right now I don't think it is 595. We have 10 more candies we need, so we'll pass on that for now. Uh, this one, we have about the same thing. We won't be able to go there. Clefairy, we don't have enough for. Vulpix, I also think we don't have enough for. We already have a Ninetales, though. Jigglypuff, my favorite Pokemon, for sure. Jigglypuff is my favorite Pokemon. Um, don't have enough for her yet. So close for Wigglytuff. Oddish is one I'm super stoked about. 605. This is about as high as we can get for an Oddish. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop it up to a Gloom. And we need a Vile Plume. I don't think we're Vile Plume. We don't have enough candies for that yet, I don't think. Uh, I've also already had a Gloom, so this is not going to be anything crazy, but I want to see what level this Gloom's at because 605 for an Oddish is really freaking high. Let's see what it's at. I'm hoping 900, maybe 1,000, maybe for lucky. Ooh, 900, okay. We need about 30 more to get to Vile Plume, and that'll be a new evolution as well that we don't have, so we'll keep that one for a while. Uh, Paris as well. Probably not going to get anything crazy, but we can try and see what happens. Might as well since we have the double XP bonus going on right now. What are we going to get? We're going to get a Parasect, and we already have one, so it's nothing crazy, but I'm going to guess 767 for the CP, and I would be wrong probably Ninos. What the heck? That is shocking. We'll save that. In fact, we could even, um, hmm, we even up for another one? No. We can, we can, we can get that up a little higher if we wanted to, but we'll, we'll save the Stardust. We don't have a Venomoth yet. This should be high level as well. 518 for a Venonat is pretty solid. We'll see if we can get it up to over a thousand. Probably not. Venomoth at a thousand seems just like, mm, probably not going to happen. Probably not even worth it. But it is a new Pokemon, so that's definitely helpful. Catching them all. We are getting really close to catching them all, guys. Um, and there we go. We have another one in the Pokedex. You know there's a Vile Plume we need right above it. 958. Okay. And we have a lot of Venonaut candy as well, so we can probably pop that over a thousand for sure. Um, we can even go... No, we don't have enough. Maybe we might... Mm, we'll probably upgrade that one later on. Diglett. We haven't done Diglett yet. This is another new evolution for us here. Not super high level at all. Doug Trio is probably not going to be very high level either, not that I care. We just have another Pokemon registered to the Pokedex, which is what is most important here. We're trying to catch all of them. I want to make a video about me catching all of them before they update it to have new Pokemon in it. That'd be super cool to be able to say that I have all of them. And there we go. There's another one, Doug Trio. Three poops in the ground. Everyone loves the three poops. 
And 474. What a joke. No one cares. Meowth, we don't really care about. Psyduck, this is one that I really wanted to see how he goes. We have an 824 Golduck. Uh, Golduck can actually be pretty solid. We have a Psychic and a Water uh, water Gun, which is pretty good, although they, they buffed it a little bit and then nerfed it a little bit. Let's see what we get here, though. 515 Psyduck. I'm going to guess 9999. 9999. Been saying that a lot lately. Let's see what we can do here, though. Not, not a new evolution. Obviously, we already have a gold duck, but... Bruh, I'm trying to record. Gold duck, here it is. What's it gonna be? <laughs> what? Get out. Are you kidding me? Oh, nice. That's almost my top level Pokemon. We're gonna power that up real quick. See if we can get it to. If we can get to 1300, that'd be pretty solid. We have a lot of Stardust, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's getting real close to being as high as it can be. 31, wow, we're getting real close to as high as we can be. We'll go down to 60,000 Stardust. Ooh, so close, we're gonna, we're gonna pop it over the top here. Boom, 1300, that's actually my highest level Pokemon now, Golduck. I hope we'll get a higher level one than that though. Mankey here, we're gonna do, game just crashed, nice. Mankey. Let's see, we already have a Prime Ape, so it's not a new evolution, but who knows, maybe it'll be random. It's 400, which is nothing crazy. Uh, maybe we'll get around 1,000. If we're really lucky, we'll get more than double the, uh, the combat power up there. There's our Prime Ape, what do we got? It should beat the other ones though. I think it'll be at least higher than the 787 I think I have already. 883, all right, not too shabby. Um, this one is gonna be awesome. I am so stoked. I already have an 1179 I call it in the wild Growlithe uh, Upgraded to a um, Arcanine, but let's see what happens here. This is a 699 almost maxed out Growlithe These guys have a tendency to have a super high CP. If you guys watch my top 10 strongest Pokemon This guy is number four Arcanine's number four on CP ranking Super high up there because I think the max is like 2900 for CP So I'm hoping to get higher than I already have 699. Oh! 1623, 1730. Let's see if we can get the 1738. Just for my boy Fetty Wap. We're at 1662. Wow. That's really high. That's more, way more than double. 70. Oh, if we get it here. Ah, we maxed it out. My, my, my level's not high enough. We'll go up a level. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Any second here, we'll go up a level. And then we'll try to do. We'll upgrade it again because once you get a higher level, you can actually do um, power it up even more than it already is, depending on what level you're at. That's pretty solid. Uh, Fire Crotch, I'm sorry, I'm kicking you out of this this one here. We're gonna get rid of. Uh, we can actually do another evolution there. We'll see how we we'll see you in a second. Uh, let's do Poliwag here. We're gonna get Poliwhirl, which I haven't caught yet. You guys saw that in the beginning. We didn't catch that one. We we decided to pass. I decided to pass on it when I saw it in the wild because it was low level. Wanted to do my Poliwhirl and see what high what uh, level I get it to, and then Poliwrath, which is actually if you guys saw my top ten strongest Pokemon again. It's one of the higher Pokemon up there. Uh, a lot of people don't realize Poliwrath is actually super powerful. Boom! Got the Poliwhirl. Not as cute as Poliwag at all, but we'll take it. 674. We need 100 to go to Poliwrath, so that's going to be tough to do. Definitely can't do that right now. It'll be higher than this Poliwrath, Wrath of Poly. Um, but yeah, let's do Abra real quick while we're here. Bam! That's going to become Kadabra, and then it's going to be Two Spoons. I call him Two Spoons because he's got two spoons. That's Alakazam, if you don't know. Uh, that's the third evolution of Abra. But uh, Two Spoons is a way cooler name. We'll see what we get here. Not, th not gonna be anything crazy, probably. I don't know, what was it, like 300? So maybe, maybe around four, 500, 550 or so. 420, oh my god, that was gross. Moving on, there's Two Spoons, so I was saying, you guys. Machop, this is another one I'm excited about. It's not as high up as I wanted it to be. We're gonna go ahead and do something here, though. We're gonna get rid of this one. We're gonna get rid of this one right quick. We're gonna transfer, bam. And then we're gonna go, and what you can do, instead of powering it up after we power up before, so power it up right quick. It's not, uh, damn, this Machop can be really powerful, okay. Then we're gonna evolve, we're gonna go all the way to Machamp right now because I don't have a Machamp, I have a Machoke. I'm hoping this Machoke will be good. If it is, we can get the Machamp to be amazing. I'm hoping we can top the 1700 CP Arcanine we just got. There's our Machoke, already got him in the Pokedex. Uh, but that's a thousand XP, and hopefully he's high level. Please be like eight, nine hundred. Yes! Mm, bam! Nine to eighteen. Oh God! Here we go. Actually, should we power it up real quick? We can. Let's do that. 
Let's do that real quick. Just give us a maximum possibility here. And there we go. We're going to be able to go. 941. What do you guys think? Leave a comment right now before it goes. Let me know what you think. I'm hoping, I'm hoping like 1,500 or so. That would be freaking sweet. Uh, but we'll see. That's a little bit less than double. And usually with the triple evolution ones, that's usually how it goes. There's our mod champ. Going to be registered with the Pokédex for the first time, which is super exciting. And I'm excited to see what he is. I'm really hoping for 1,500 plus. Maybe we'll get lucky. It'll be even higher than that. Ah, oh, wow. That was crap. Oh well, uh, I'll power it up again because it's still my second highest, but I was hoping for a little bit better than that. It really was, a little disappointing there. Next one's Bellsprout, and this is a new evolution for me as well. I don't have a Weeping Bell yet. Um, I don't have, I have I've really caught in very few Bellsprouts. Maybe because I don't think they're that powerful. It's like a twig, you know? Like it looks like a freaking twig with two leaves, so it's like, why would I want that? It's not gonna be good, obviously. But uh, I do need the Pokemon, register the Pokedex, so Weeping Bell, this will be the first time we have caught one of those, or we've evolved to one of those, and obviously we do not have the third evolution either, but there we go, 650, wow, that's actually not too bad. Um, there, boom, new one, we have a Tentacool, we have a Squidward, but we're gonna go ahead and do this one as well to see if we can top that 900 CP Squidward. Usually with the one, the, uh, the Pokemon that evolved once will get a little bit more than double whatever the CP is. The ones that evolved three times will get a, a little bit less than double uh, whatever the CP is. So I'm hoping this will be a thousand or higher. That would be pretty good for a 400. We'll see though. Luck of the draw. What? Wow. Wow, that's really freaking good. I will save that. Thank you. We're gonna power it up as well. Whoo! Let's let's pop let's pop it over 1,200. Oh my lord! That's a beast. Absolute beast. Okay, next up we got the Geo Dudes. This is the same as the Pidgeys for me. Um, we're gonna go all the way on this one and see if we can get it to a Golem that's pretty high level. Uh, obviously, because this Geo Dude's pretty stacked. But I'm also gonna use the other ones to just. Trade him away up to a um, uh, Graveler, which is the second evolution, just so we can get that XP at the end there if we have enough time. Same as the Pidgey, same as the Rotata, same as the Ekans. And let's see what we got here. Hopefully it's high, because if it is, we can go and get a high Golem. 749. I'm going to go all the way up. We're going to go for it here. We're going to screw the uh, XP XP raid here. We already have a Golem, so it's not a big deal for XP, but it is another 1,000, and I'm hoping that this will be around a. 1300 that'd be pretty good that's a little bit less than two it'll probably be more likely around 1100 1200 but 1300 would be great let's see what we get here 1233 okay that's not too bad we're gonna start that that'll be one of our top pokemon for sure this is the two that i'm most excited about we got 12 minutes left here a lot of flopping pokemon around here we've upgraded we've leveled up to level 21 more ultra balls which is nice let's get back in there though these are the ones I'm excited about. These are by far my highest levels uh, for first evolutions that I've caught. If the Arcanine was a 1700 at a 699, the Ponita has got to be freaking high. I'm gonna go ahead and power her up one more time just to see I can almost get it to the max that it can be. Almost a 900. So this should be, it's only one evolution. So Rapidash should be hopefully around 1600. Uh, that's a right about right around double, 1900 or 900 times two is 1800. So maybe 1600, 1700 is what I'm guessing it'll be. That would be great. I don't know what the max level of Ponyta is, but I imagine it's higher than that. Rapidash, excuse me. Come on, baby, come on. Higher than 1600. What is that? What is that? That is trash. That is trash. I'm gonna go another one because that's some bullshit. Bullshit. I mean, it is random. It is random on what like their individual values might be, but that was trash. 1300, it was 900. It didn't even get, it got 400 more XP. XP, what am I saying? CP, it got 400 more CP. That's crap. That's so crap. An 899 level Ponita only goes to a 1300. That's some serious crap. We'll see what this one is. <sighs> I'm done. I'm out of here. Pink Devil, this one's got to be good. It's high level. Uh, we're going to even go one more time on it. Why not? 682. 682. Please. Please, Slowpoke. Please. The Pink Devil has been evolved to what? It's going to be a slow bro, but hopefully it's not like the Rapidash because that was crap. That crap. That was crap. Come on. I'm hoping for like 1,400, 1,500 maybe. 
that's double. That's also a new evolution I forgot to mention, so that's a big win for us. 14, okay, all right, cool, we can do that. Pink Devil is 1491, that's pretty solid. Uh, I, can, I can F with that. Do Duo, we should probably evolve just because why not? We already have a Do Trio, uh, not very high level, but we'll see what this one comes to. Since it's only a single evolution, maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be more than double uh, the CP and that'll be great. Either way, probably not gonna put it in a gym or anything like that. It's not gonna be very good at uh, attacking things like Snorlaxes or Dragonites. But, uh, you know, who knows, we'll see. 861, meh, meh. Not as good as my Dodo Do. See, we don't have enough for. Uh, Grimer also don't have enough for, but this is gonna be a freaking beast of nature. Oh my god, 632, and it's not even fully fully evolved or fully upgraded. Shelter will go and do a cloister just real quick because we want that XP grab. Already have a cloister we found on the beach. It was pretty high, I think it was 900 or so. This one I doubt will be higher than that, uh, but you never know. Crazier things have happened. Already so far, I've been shocked both ways. I've been really disappointed with the Rapidash, and I've been really, really stoked about the Arcanine and some other Pokemon so far. So we'll see what we got. It's okay, all right. Oh, not too shab, not too shab. I can mess with that. Ghastly, we're gonna go ahead and evolve to a Haunter. Uh, we already have a Haunter, but we don't have a Gengar. Unfortunately, I was trying to catch one on the beach, didn't get it, it didn't, it didn't show up for me in time. Uh, I thought I saw it, and I didn't click on it quick enough is what happened, it disappeared. Uh, Haunter, hopefully this will be decently high level so we can get a, a good level Gengar, but I still need to catch that Pokemon. I may have been able to just skip the XP here and just save up more, but I need 70 either way, so we'll, we'll go for that. Drowsy, we don't have enough for yet. Krabby, we definitely have enough for. We already have a Kingler, but uh, we'll might as well go for it since we only have one of them to do. We've saved up enough candies for it. Might as well get that double XP grab while we're here. The Kingler, again, not going to be a Pokemon you see in gyms quite often. Uh, I don't think it's very easy to get a high level Kingler, as we're going to see here. It's probably not going to even be over a thousand. But who knows? We'll see what happens. A41, that's what I figured. Mr. Krabs right there is a good name. Voltorb, this is one I was excited about. Uh, new, new Pokemon, it's a new evolution for me. Don't have it yet. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Probably not gonna be high level. Have not seen a single uh, one of these guys in the gyms ever. So we'll see how that happens, but maybe it'll be higher level than we thought. Maybe it won't, I don't know. But either way, we get a new Pokemon to Pokedex, so that's good for me, you know? Bam! There it is. What's it gonna be? 842 Electrode. Hey, okay, Executor. What are we gonna get? This is one I'm excited about. Come on, Executor. Executor has a thing like the Arcanine where it's just it's just super high CP. For some reason, it's just mega CP. Hopefully, it'll be high. Because this is another Pokemon you see a lot in the gyms. The Pineapple Express. I already have one, so it's not new for the Pokedex, but it's gonna be okay. That is almost triple. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. It could be better. Um, 440, we're not gonna have nearly enough there, but it's still not as bad as it could have been. 532 Cubone's pretty high level. Arrowax, another Pokemon you're not gonna see. There you go, we got the boy Patrick Smith Snapchatting me. He probably wants to get some pizza or something. Um, this one's not gonna be one you see in the gyms very often, but again, it's just for the XP grab. We already have Marowak, so it's not gonna be 2,000 XP, but it's still a good amount of 1,000. 881, yep, kinda crap. Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Licky Tongue, Coughlin we don't have, Chance we don't have, Tangela is a single one. Goldine we can upgrade. Evolve, I say upgrade, I don't know why. Uh, it's just like a, a word that comes out of my mouth quite frequently when I play this game, but it's nowhere. You can't upgrade anything. You can power up and you can evolve, but apparently I've just decided that you can upgrade everything. It's just an upgrade, you know? It's like playing zombies. I'm gonna upgrade the gun. Well, not Pokemon because they're animals, so. 916, wow. That's pretty good, but still not good enough. I have so many Scyther candies. We're gonna do that at the very end here. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we got anything else. Oh yes, Magikarp we can't do yet. These Eevees, we wanna do a Vaporeon here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. We're gonna type in, I haven't done the Rainer one yet on my account, so hopefully it'll work still, but I've gotten already two Vaporeons, so I'm not sure it'll work exactly. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna close the app. We're gonna go back into the app and hopefully that'll reset the servers to make sure the name's definitely changed. It may not work, I'm not sure how it goes once you've already gotten all three. I know that after the first time of doing each one, it definitely doesn't work anymore. Let's make sure we still have that double XP, we have five left. Let's go all the way back down to our Eevees. Dang, we got a lot of Pokemon. We got a lot of Mons. 582 is pretty good. 
Um, we can probably pop it up one more time just to see how we go. About 600. So I'm hoping this... You know what? Let's go all the way. Let's go all the way with this guy here. Vaporeon's really, really good in this game. So let's try to go a little bit higher. We're at 3,000 now. So this thing's going to be really tough. It's not really gaining much anymore. Let's stop wasting our stuff and let's go evolve this. Hopefully, Raynor will be a high-level Vaporeon. I'm hoping for like... I don't know, it's at 600 right now, so maybe like uh, 1,500. That's a little, that's a lot more than two, actually. But then again, Vaporeon's has ten, tendency, there we go, it worked, like it should. Tendency to be really high level, so hopefully it'll be great. Oh, boy, that's nice. I can F with that. Yup, yup, three Vaporeon's, by far my best one. We can do one more Eevee real quick. Uh, we'll see what's gonna be left at the draw. Hopefully it'll be a Flareon um, or, or a Jolteon because obviously I just got a Vaporeon, we don't want another one. Uh, but hopefully it'll be a Flareon that it's pretty high level, maybe like 1200, that would be nice. Jolteon, okay, that's fine. 1300, 1200, something like that, maybe 1100. That'd be good. Uh, don't hold your breath. <laughs> that was crap. Oh man, okay, we still have three minutes left here before we have to change and do another lucky egg. Let's go down back to where we were. And we got those guys. Omni, we definitely don't have enough for that yet. Aerodactyl, Dratini, we don't have enough for those to save here. So that is that. All I'm gonna do now, instead of um, ending it there, what I wanna do real quick is we're sitting at 25,000. So we've gotten a, basically about 50,000. I think I can count it up below, obviously. But I think we've got right around 50,000 XP so far in under 30 minutes, well under 30 minutes. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and pop another lucky egg if I can even do that. Can't do it yet. We'll wait until that one's done. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and do all these extra ones. So when I have enough to evolve these, I'm going to get that 1,000 XP and see if we can get up to the next level. If we can do that, that'd be great. It's 75,000 XP, so we need to get 50,000 XP more. More, which probably won't happen. I probably have about 20 to 30 more evolutions we can do that are uh, not new Pokemon, obviously, but they're a thousand points each. So as it turns out, I actually missed three of the evolutions, new evolutions that I didn't find on the screen when I was playing before. That is Zubat to Golbat, Star You to Star Me, and Sandstrew to Sand Slash. So those are the three ones that I also got that I didn't record. With that brings us all the way up to 128 unique Pokemon on our Pokedex, which is pretty awesome. With the remaining Stardust and Candies that I had, I went and upgraded more of my high level Pokemon like the Scyther here who I have a lot of candy for. And I was able to get some much higher level Pokemon that I had initially when I first evolved them. As you can see right here, we're about 15 Pokemon away from catching all the original Pokemon in the game currently. So that's pretty sweet. And lastly, we did almost make 100,000 XP in under 30 minutes, which is absolutely insane. If I had a couple more candies here and there, we would have had 100,000, no problem. So that's about as easy as it gets. 100,000 XP in 30 minutes for sure every time as long as you save up those Pidgeys, save up those Rotatas, and save up all those easy little Pokemon that can get you a lot of XP bonus. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure you comment Pidgeys for the win down below and like the video if you enjoyed. If you want to see more Pokemon Go videos just like this one, make sure you click that subscribe button and we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. I want to be the very best.